thanks for inviting me. All over the world, uh, many breast uh, um, centers cannot use uh, radio tracer because they uh, do not have nuclear medicine center near the hospital. Our study has compared indocyanin green to uh, technetium uh, radioactive for sentinel node detection. Why is, uh, what is it, uh, indocyanin green? Uh, it's a water-soluble diagnostic vital dye that belongs to the tricarbocyanins. Why ICG? Because injected by uh, subdermally, when bounced to organic macromolecules, it becomes fluorescent if illuminated with infrared light. The photodynamic eye is a medical camera for fluorescent lymphoangiography. Uh, the fluorescence emitted by uh, the ECG is detected by a PDE image sen sensor. PDE technology is based on the induction and the observation of the ICG fluorescence, as you can see by these photos. Uh, now, um, I would like to present you uh, the video that we um, show to, uh, in Chicago uh, about our initial experience at the American Society, Society of Breast uh, Surgeons. Doesn't work. Uh, the patient is under general anesthesia and we um, dilute the ICG uh, powder with five mils of solution. Indocyanin green is a diagnostic drug that bounds to uh, blood macromolecules, as we said before, and become uh, luminescent in the infrared spectrum if irradiated with an infrared light. Now we are preparing uh, the, the torch camera under um, sterile disposables. We switch off a, a, a bit the light. Um, about one mil. No, uh, now we use less than one uh, milliliter of indocyanin uh, green. In, uh, we inject uh, uh, subcutaneously in uh, neoplasma projection area. Uh, now actually we prefer to inject uh, uh, only under areola. The migration is displayed in a range of three to uh, 10 minutes. So we do the um, micro incision when uh, the tracer reaches the axilla. You see the lymph node is like a, a lamp. Lymph node in the dissected specimen were isolated from the surrounding fatty tissue and investigated to see whether each lymph node was fluorescent inside. All fluorescent lymph nodes were removed. How? A verification is done to check if there is a residual luminescence and in fact a second node is highlighted Sometimes it was very simple to find a bright mode, but sometimes it was more difficult. But in 10 minutes, uh, we always found the bright nodes. So <coughs> even this node is removed, the second one. 
and the areas now clean, only minimal traces of luminescence are related to the lymphatic vessels. Currently, um, this technique is used, we use associated with the radio tracer to counter check. In fact, they use the uh, radioactive technician probe to confirm the existence of any concordance between the bright node and the radioactive sentinel node. At the end, we place the probe in the axilla to check residual radioactivity. Uh, this is our study. I, it is an equivalent study between two methods using um, techni radioactive technician and ICG to detect the sentinel node. Uh, it began on uh, uh, July 2012. Uh, it involved uh, 301 patients. Uh, sentinel biopsy was performed both with ICG and radioactive technician. The end point was to demonstrate the no inferiority between these two methods ended in December uh, 2013. Uh, Total number of patients involved, 301. Adverse reaction, none. Uh, number of lymph nodes arrested were um, 596. Um, this is our paper accepted by European Journal of Surgical Oncology in October 2014. Uh, 596 arrested nodes. About this, 453 uh, were uh, localized both with uh, radioactive technician and ICG. Uh, six only uh, by radioactive technician and 137 only by ICG. A uh, mean of lymph nodes harvested per patient is 1.59 uh, for technician and 1.96 for ICG. Lymph node positive for metastasis were uh, 58 localized by uh, uh, technician and uh, 71 localized via uh, um, ICG. Uh, as you can see, ICG, uh, there are more, plus 13, more or less 18.3%. But mm, be careful because all the lymph nodes that were found to be metastatic via uh, radioactive technician have shown uh, the same result via ICG, but the contrary is not true. Thus, out of additional uh, 137 nodes harvested because they flourished with the ICG, uh, 13 lymph nodes, I mean six patients, they are not uh, so, so few, uh, were metastatic. We have shown um, uh, that ICG can be employed in all uh, breast cancer regardless of size, localization, recurrence, neoadjuvant, chemotherapy. Sensitivity correlation is absolute. Um, detection rate is superior. P is equal 0 0.02, but, I repeat, but ICG finds 21 more lymph nodes. Is it a problem? Sometimes, but I don't think it's a very important uh, uh, point because uh, it uh, can be even an advantage. According to what Giuliano also stated, it allows us to avoid axillary dissection when out of three harvested lymph nodes, only one metastatic lymph node is uh, detected. Of course, in a selected patient, for example, in luminal A. Uh, advantages, uh, organizational advantages, involvement, involvement of a nuclear medicine division is not necessary. The use of radioactive material is reduced. Waste disposable is less substantial issue. Social advantages. Patients no longer need to have radioactive technician or other radioactive material injected at a, a nuclear medicine division. Further, the ICG technique is performed in the operating room immediately after the induction of general anesthesia and without any discomfort for the patient. Operative advantages. For example, when radio-guided occult lesion localization is combined with sentinel lymph node biopsy, ICG technique avoid the superimposition of two radioactive tracers at the injection site, thus favoring tumor detection. Economical advantages. The patient no longer has to undergo grueling trips 
to medical center where nuclear medicine service is available and the hospital costs are definitely lower. The average cost per patient is uh, $100 with ICG and $800 with uh, radioactive technician. Some critical points, uh, we have seen the increase of uh, the harvested lymph node. Uh, the learning curve is a little longer. Surgical time increases a little, but the patient no longer requires access to a nuclear uh, medicine unit. We must not stop at the first fluorescent node. Allergy to iodine is a contraindication. Advice. <coughs> Superficial lymphatic drainage differ, differs from patient to patient. Carefully observe lymphography in vivo and inject the minimum initial dose, add more only when necessary. For us, we found the best dose uh, between uh, in, in the effective dosage um, that we found is 0 0.5, more or less 0 0.2 mil. Why ICG? We have seen uh, detection rate is superior uh, because it does not leave skin stain as the blue dye. Sensitivity is higher than blue dye. It is visible through the skin because lumination. It is cheaper than radioactive technician. It is feasible in the operating room. ECG is all we need to find the sentinel node. Uh, IFA, uh, after our uh, study, uh, Italian Drug Administration modified the indication concerning ICG. And it is therefore now also recommended for finding the sentinel node in breast cancer. Since January, we use only ICG. Uh, ICG is all we use. Uh, in fact, up to now, in, uh, um, we use it uh, since January up to now. Uh, in 151 cases, detection rate is 100%. Uh, On average, we found two lymph nodes. Quantity of ICG injected is uh, from 0.3 to 0.8 mil. Uh, we use it also when neoadjuvant uh, chemotherapy is employed or reoperation is needed, for example, second biopsy. Then we send the letter to the breast cancer editor uh, about um, this, uh, uh, the use of endocyanin green alone and um, other uses uh, of ICG in breast uh, surgery, for example, uh, is to evaluate uh, the vascularity in, um, of the tissue. For example, the nipple, when performing a nipple sparing mastectomy, as you can see in the photo, in the, um, down in the left side, or um, for the reconstruction flaps in, in plastic uh, surgery. Thank you for your attention.